Hey everybody, welcome back to the Carrycut YouTube channel. Today I got something a little bit different for you guys. We're going to be dyeing a, uh, some G10 scales. So one of our subscribers, Brad, he sent us a knife. It was one of the F and Grow knives. He let me pick it out and I just thought it would be pretty cool. It's kind of like a crossbar style lock. And uh, so we're going to be trying to pull off um, something similar to what Jimmy does with his scales, Jimmy Crow. Of course, so this is a QSP Penguin that he dyed in a synthetic racing red. So we got some RIT dye, synthetic racing yeah racing red synthetic red dye so we uh i did 16 ounces of water to two and two ounces of dye so we got a little saucepan we got that boiling make sure I, I took the knife apart make sure we cleaned up all the g10 real nice um used alcohol wiped it all down now we got to soak it in a water bath we kind of shook the shook it up got all the uh, bubbles out of everything that we could and we tied some string to it so we're going to go ahead and let this come to almost a boil or if not a boil then we're going to dunk it in and hopefully check it every five minutes and we'll go from there and see what it looks like all right so we're just about here to a boil and so we're going to go ahead and drop our uh, parts in i guess so i got our two scales that are also our g10 backspacer here so we got everything cleaned up with uh, our acetone alcohol whatever you want to do so we're going to go ahead and throw them right on in there and then we'll check it here in about five minutes. So it's 6.55 right now at the time we're recording this. So we'll let this go for a couple minutes and we'll check back in. This stuff's got a heck of a color on it. We're getting a little bit of a boil going now. So it should turn out pretty good. One thing to keep in mind when you're doing this, you always make uh, keep a steady eye on it and uh, put all your focus and concentration on it because you do not want this thing to boil over. My wife told me if I boil this thing over and get this all over her white stove, I'm going to be in big trouble. All right, we are at our five-minute mark now, so let's go ahead and pull one of these liners out and or scales out and see. And that is definitely a pretty sweet color from the uh, JG10 we started with. That is pretty sweet. Oop, shoot. Oh, no. you seen that one happen live. I dropped the whole darn string in there. A little technical difficulties. That should be on a blooper reel. I think that we're probably just about good. We could go ahead and pull it. Let's see. Is this the backspacer or the other scale? Yeah, there's the backspacer. So that's definitely a pretty cool color. I was going for something like that. And it looks like we're about, just about there on the same color. So I think we're going to go ahead and uh, cut the heat on this thing. And then we can um, try to fish that one out of there. And then uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so after I think we did seven minutes in the, in the boil, this is what we came up with. So this is definitely a pretty sweet kind of cherry almost merlot i guess you could say i technically want to call it racing red but it is definitely a pretty cool um, dark red color and that's exactly what i was going for in this one so i'm definitely pretty excited about that we're gonna go ahead and let these things dry overnight though and uh tomorrow well when you guys are watching this will be the same day but we're gonna go ahead and reassemble the knife and uh go from there but this is definitely pretty cool for my first time ever trying this i am definitely excited about it and uh you know something you can do wait till your water is all the way cooled down and uh, you know you can save this liquid actually and uh, do it again so pour it in a coke bottle or whatever kind of water bottle you have and um, yeah you'll be able to use it reheat it again so pretty cool so all right on the uh, next time you guys see this we'll be reassembling all right guys guys so we're back here getting ready to assemble the uh, knife that we dyed uh, the with the RIT synthetic dye racing red so this was the F and Grow EF 950 and if you guys, uh, well, I don't know if I stated it before, but uh, Brad, Brad Weir, I think that's uh, how you pronounce his last name. Hopefully I'm not uh, making, missing, <coughs> sorry. Hopefully I'm not messing that up, Brad. Um, he actually bought this knife and he was kind of inter interested in uh, having us do um, at least our first attempt at dyeing some scales. So, uh, of course, these were like the Translucent G G10. So I did, uh, of course, the previous videos that'll be like, uh, you know, in segments was dyeing these. So they turned out really good. And uh, I kind of messed up and not didn't film actually taking the knife apart. But so we pretty much have the uh, you know internal chassis here. We got the whole crossbar assembly with the liners. And so this knife was definitely pretty simple, and it should be pretty easy to put back together. I'm hoping. So let's go ahead and um, this darn thing doesn't want to slide open at all here. There we go. So let's go ahead and throw our. Um, backspacer in here first is what we're going to do probably have been easier just to pull the actual there we go 
putting in there just something like this. Well, maybe you can't do it that way, I guess. Thought maybe that you could have, but I don't think we're going to be able to. So go ahead and spread them apart a little bit, just like so. All right, there's that part. And now we should be able to slide our blade in here. Of course, we got our... Uh, Oh, Axis spring or Omega spring fell out right there. These are kind of similar to the CJRB hectare springs. I'm not really sure why. There we go. Let's see if we can get a get some of these screws in here of course these are going to be t8 i think actually these might be t6 t6 on the uh, actual screws for the yeah for the backspacer there we go that's where i was trying to find sorry guys oh, man slippery fingers today there we go a little bit of loctite on there it goes a long way so we're just going to get these snugged up for now, nothing crazy, just so it's not sliding around on us. All right. There we go. Now we're working, cooking with bacon there. All right, so we do have a D-shaped pivot going on. If you guys can see that, there's there's a little bit of a cutout on the pivot there. So we need to be mindful of that when we go to uh, actually assemble here. So let's go ahead and this on here we could do this side of the scale too we'll just run our pivot in last I'm definitely digging this color more than the JG10 I'll tell you that all right so now we're looking pretty good right there let's get and try to test fit this pivot in here see how it's feeling There it went. Like so. Okay. So let's go ahead and snug that back out of there for now. So we'll just get him just started. Pretty much flush right there. Then we'll take our blade and we're going to slide him right in there. Well, that was pretty easy. Just like so. All right, then we're going to take our T8 with our pivot here. Go ahead and thread the pivot on in. Try to really get some torque on it. Try to suck that screw in as much as we can. I think they just kind of stick out. I think I should kind of probably go down in there more than that, though. We'll have to do some fidgeting with that. Something's definitely off a little bit right there. That one shouldn't even spin because that one's supposed to be the captive pivot. So, just something you learn as you go. Let's go ahead and slide that back out. Get a little 
better look and see on the inside of there to see exactly where the the D shape is. Everything should slide right in there like it was nobody's problem. Proving to be a little more difficult than it should be, just about how like they always are. All right, so I must not like being on that side. So let's try this side. It sucks down in perfect right there. Okay. All right, now let's try to throw our blade in there again. That's much better. All right. I think we're on the home stretch now. Oh, yeah. Way better. Action's good. Centering's pretty much right on the money. Let's go ahead and tighten it up a little more. And this knife is actually going to be a giveaway knife. So I want to uh, give this knife away to somebody in the audience. And it's going to be sponsored. Of course, Brad paid for this. He had this sent to me to do a review on. And um, actually dye these scales. So he let me pick the knife. And I picked the color. And I just think that this thing is pretty sweet. I'm definitely excited to give it away. So if you guys are interested in that, hopefully maybe for the 750 subscriber giveaway, we can do that. So hopefully you guys are interested in that. I know I sure am. All right, so let's go ahead and get the pocket clip on there. I think I need to wash the, give it a good rinse out. It seems like some of the dye might be coming off of my fingers, which I highly doubt that it should be. I did boil it in there pretty hard, so. T6 for the clip. Nice beefy clip screws too. That's a lot of goo. I don't need that much goo. Okay, there we go. We got us a fully assembled knife now. This is the F and Grow EF950. Like I said, uh, Brad sent this to us. Brad, sure to appreciate it. Action is right on point again. Like I said, I wanted to do a uh, acid etch kind of on the blade and. Um, at least the blade and liners and try to get them like a nice dark grayish color but um, we'll leave that in the comments and see what you guys think about that if you'd like me to try the acid etching it would just kind of you know dull the blade a little bit and maybe make the scales a little darker because the liners would be a different color but um, definitely pretty cool love the color nice little customization we had going on there so if, uh, if you guys would like to see anything else like this uh, just leave it down in the comment section below and like I said this will definitely be a uh, 350 subscriber 350 750 subscriber giveaway knife so that's going to be my plan with this one so hopefully uh, one of you lucky guys out there will be winning this thing all right thanks